It's the And the White Guy Show with Bruce Williams, but not Terry Reed. Harry Swollen Sack and his orchestra. The Dick Dancer Dancers. And now, from their high res studios in La Hermitage, here's that white guy, Bruce Williams. Hello, my name is Philip. I'm a restroom coordinator for a chili factory in Canada. About five years ago, I began to notice lapses in my memory. My short-term memory, my long-term memory, and my short-term memory. It wasn't long after that I was walking through a Canadian forest and an Antifa foot soldier came up to me and offered me a brochure about What's-Its-Face. What's-Its-Face is a supplement for memory and it works. For the last two years, I've noticed great improvement in my memory. I can quote all of Gordon Lightfoot's lyrics from all of his songs, and I can play Candy Crush without using cheats. So that says something right there. And if you don't believe me about the effects of What's-Its-Face, just ask my wife. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that what's his face? Oh, Philip is just, he loves that stuff. I can't believe he's been taking it all this time and he's remembering things that happened from, from 1847 and he was not even alive. Can you believe it? It's making him remember things that I think never even happened. It's incredible stuff. I'm afraid to take it because I'd rather forget my past. You know what I mean? What's-His-Face uses a secret ingredient found only in jellyfish. I was down in the Bahamas recently and I was doing some flips and some back glides, you know, because that's what I do. Uh, I, I uh, have this ability to uh, do a corkscrew in the water and I can actually pick up speed. So this lady from New Jersey, she comes floating by me, not floating, flailing by me, and she disturbs me and she got stung because I got a stinger. Ho ho! Yes indeed, this is a male jellyfish and I got a stinger. So you better watch her. She gets out of the water so fast, I've never seen a fat lady move like that. She runs down the beach. Her boyfriend pees on her where I stung her. <laughs> As if that's going to work. <laughs> I'm going to go now and study. That's what I do because I'm a jellyfish and I'm smart. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's fine. Uh, yes, no. Everybody, welcome to And the White Guy Show, the least racist white guy show that you'll find on the interweb. And we have with us, as our special guest and uh, coordinator and uh, commentator, Gary Muldeer. Thank you, thank you. They're socially distanced. That's incredible. Yes, they're, they're out there, but you can hardly see them. Yes. And uh, we've just finished a 14-hole round of golf that was like none other we've experienced. Never. No. I mean, on the back uh, five holes, Gary had a five on each of those holes, which is pretty incredible considering the uh, length and uh, difficulty of this course. I noticed that. Other guys would hit off the tee, I'd hear things like, nice drive, great shot, you got all of that one. When I'd hit, you'd hear things like, that'll work. <laughs> that won't hurt you. I think it opens up over there. I didn't hear any branches. I hit one this afternoon and Bruce said, sounded good. I said, where'd it go? He said, I didn't see it. 
I belong to Spearfish Canyon Country Club in the Black Hills of Western South Dakota. Our pro is a 16. In fact, if you want to take a playing lesson, you have to give him five aside. <laughs> <laughs> and our clubhouse had a devastating fire, Bruce, about no. four years ago. Burn it right down to the axles. <laughs> Oh, I love that Spearfish course. Oh, yeah. I have so many great... That's where I learned to golf. I know. I was in college at Black Hills State. Yes. We Black had the Hills. ranch next to it. That's where I used to find all my golf balls on our property. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Your, uh, your ranch... How many acres in your ranch there? It was 760, and we finally had to let it go, but it's, uh, it's being developed now from the back, and it won't be a while before you can see anything down on the highway, but... It's kind of bittersweet. It's been in the family for 72 years. It's kind of tough. Yeah. But yeah, that's a that's a legacy there. That's, yeah, uh, it is. It's that's always hard to part with. Yeah, uh, well, in any in any uh, pandemic, the barn was built the same year I was born. For those of you who wonder how old I am, I'm one year older than Bugs Bunny and two years younger than Porky Pig. <laughs> And he's slightly older than Ken. The Ken doll just turned sixty. Oh, ah. I don't remember the. I don't remember sixty. The, the, <laughs> you don't remember the sixties. I don't remember sixty or the sixties. Oh no. Okay. You go to bed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's kind of hard to <laughs> keep track of things, you know. <laughs> yes, we've all done things we're not too proud of, but. Uh, but those days are gone and we have turned a new leaf. We have no more Peruvian marching powder for us. And uh, no, <laughs> no, more, no more weed for me because exactly. I, I was always a weed freak, you know. And I, know. I started when I was six years old smoking actual weeds. Really? Yes, <laughs> and uh, some of those were quite powerful and, uh, and uh, they had no names. Uh, some did dandelion and things like that, which had more of a tubicle uh, center. Our, but, yeah, our yeah. governor in South Dakota is trying to eliminate all weeds just in case any of them are a gateway drug. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So you won't find any weeds in South Dakota. And I'm glad that that date rape drug wasn't around when I was younger because I would have taken it. Yeah, I had an experience with you, as a matter of fact. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. All right. And, uh, we have a special guest with us today. Um, we have uh, live and remote from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Wow. We have our uh, co-writer and uh, co-comedian friend, John Pate, is here uh, to talk about what we did on the Country Kitchen show years ago. Oh, yeah. There he is. Yay. There he is. His Hello, smiling John. face. Hello. Keep, keep your seats. Keep your seats, everybody. Those in the back, sit down. <laughs> so, uh, John. Yes, I, it's great to be with two legendary, well, one legendary comedian, Bruce Williams, and one legend, Harry, uh, Gary Mule Deer. Yeah, yes, right. legend Harry. His, legend like, Harry. his hair was scared by one of my shots on the golf course <laughs> today. It's windy out there today. Yes, windier than I've ever seen it. John, uh, two days ago, my bank was robbed by three topless cheerleaders. Wow, did you get a good look at them? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week. <laughs> it's nice you brought up our ranch. You know, our ranch is a Miller ranch. But, you know, originally when we got the ranch, we decided, it was originally entitled the Lazy R Double Nine Triple Seven Lookout Mountain Ranch. But none of the cows survived the branding. <laughs> <laughs> Little humor never hurts. Oh, it never <laughs> hurts. That is, that is beautiful. And that was... Uh, that was long ago that we did the Country Kitchen show. That was oh, uh, great show. 1990. Uh, 1989 to 95. Wow. Uh, 1989 to 95, exactly. And uh, we had a, a treasure trove of guests, high-profile guests. We had Garth on. Um, yeah. 
and we had Vince uh, Gill, Vince Gill uh, Glenn Campbell, Phyllis Diller, Phyllis Diller, the Mandrell sisters, the Mandrell sisters. Did you have any of those on? No, uh, we had Louise. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. One out of three. That can't hurt. Yeah. Louise, I, Louise. And we did have Barbara. Barbara. Barbara Mandrell was on. Oh, Remember, okay. because that's when um, uh, Florence went to Barbara's dressing room and she said, now just relax and have a good time. And Barbara said, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think she misinterpreted what her Florence was saying to her. But. <laughs> but those were the good old days. And, and we, we wrote some great comedy with food. Yeah. Back then. Yes, and it got kind of messy on the script, but uh, <laughs> the, the custard punchlines uh, really, yeah, a little bit messy. It was a fun show to do. It was a fun show yeah. to do, and, and we ate like pigs. Yes. Uh, because all the food that was prepared was prepared ahead of time, but they always had a big feed uh, kind of in between, in the middle of the set uh, of shooting 13 shows, and boy, did we load up. Whew. That yes, was, I was positively gaseous. Yes, <laughs> but uh, still a heart of gold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. So I'm excited. I had, I had my seventh uh, Pfizer shot today. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Seven? Seven, yeah. You're not yeah. supposed to get that many, John. Not? Oh, well, I don't know if it's going to cure me or not, but I can glow in the dark and see through concrete. <laughs> <laughs> My my aunt had had four of them, four shots, oh. and she had to go into the hospital. And when she recovered, she it took her a while to recover. She saw God standing at the at the foot of the bed, and she said, "Am I going to die?" And he said, "No, you have thirty more years." My aunt felt so good, she just stayed in the hospital. And after she got better, she had a tummy tuck, she had her breasts enhanced, she had an eyebrow lift, she had uh, collagen in her lips. And she left the hospital and she got run over by an ambulance. <laughs> so two days later, she's standing in heaven and she said to God, I thought I had 30 more years. And God said, I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> Little humor never hurts. It, it never hurts. <laughs> never, yes. never. No, not like those shots. No. Boy, oh, those no. Are those, yeah, those hurt. Uh, those that's... are so painful yeah. and... and uh, and those anal swabs, I didn't get. Oh, there are none. Of, there are none of those. No. Huh? No. There are you none got, of those. You guys didn't have to get no. those. Well, you went to the wrong doctor. Never walk backwards into a vaccine station. <laughs> no. <laughs> never follow Larry Gatlin into a vaccine station. No. Never turn around. <laughs> you know. Well, it depends. If you take the two shots, see, yeah, that's that's one thing. The one shot I think they said has side effects. Uh, my wife took the one shot. And she grew antlers. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. She became a mule deer. Always embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you're lucky, well, it wasn't in season. Not, no. What? Lucky it wasn't in season. Was <laughs> <laughs> How is, is your deer. lovely wife? Yes, yeah, she is a deer. Yes. 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 How is uh, Sarah? She's, uh, she's wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. in the other room watching TV. Oh, good. Good. She'll um, uh, she'll probably watch the replay, no yeah. doubt. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to show the uh, clip from Country Kitchen, and uh, this contains. This was a show with Steve Gatlin as the guest, and Steve Gatlin made a uh, entree with Florence Henderson, and then immediately Florence throws it to us to make a dessert, and this is the dessert segment. This segment. By the way, thank you, John. Uh, John saved this uh, dessert segment uh, among his souvenirs from uh, Country Kitchen, and we were able to uh, uh, put it off onto a DVD and uh, restore uh, most of the color, except for uh, some of the yellowing around the Indian's jowls. Can't wait well, to see I, this. I believe this one also goes into the Williams and Ree Hall of Fame. Well, really? Does we he have a Hall of Fame? Yes. Isn't it going into the Williams and Ree Hall of Fame? Hmm. We're, really? we're stumped. Do we we're have shocked. a Hall of Fame? Williams and Ree has no Hall of Fame. There, there's no Hall of Fame? No. I, no. 
wait a minute, that investment that you asked me to uh, invest in really didn't happen? Is that what you're saying? Uh, that where's, my, where's my $50? <laughs> this is my 50. Oh. <laughs> it went towards uh, us buying a puppy. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Puppies, that reminds me, a dog walks into a bar, climbs up on a stool, says, I'll have a beer. Bartender said, that's incredible, you should be in a circus. The dog said, really, they need electricians? <laughs> <laughs> Never hurts to have a little humor. <laughs> there we go. All right, here's a clip from Country Kitchen circa 1991. Uh, I've been sober four years. But we love them, Williams and Ree, and they're going to make chocolate peanut butter bread, guys. Thank you, Ree. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, it's, oh, it's so hot and difficult to work in this kitchen. It really Constantly, is. day yes. after day, Unbelievable. week after week, doing these desserts. Yes, and huh. then flying to our personal appearances Oh, yes, everywhere. sometimes in the same day. And in that Learjet, so oh, uncomfortable. It's so grueling. So many other people besides the Indian in there. But anyway, boys and girls, today... <laughs> Today we're going to make for you a dessert, and that dessert is called chocolate peanut butter bread. That's the dessert that will make a Cub Scout stick to the roof of his pup tent. Yes, indeed. You're going to need some ingredients. Those ingredients will be as follows. You'll have to have some flour. Sugar. And some salt. Baking powder. And you'll also need some Peter Pan extra crunchy peanut butter. Egg. And some milk. And some semi-sweet chocolate chips. And you'll need some Wesson all vegetable shortening. And cream. And you'll need some Wesson buttery flavor oil. Oh, boy. Yes, indeed. You can use all those products at Mexican meatball oh. soup. Oh, that yes. looks good. One oh. bowl of that had Pancho Villa riding side saddle at his victory parade. <laughs> yes, indeed. Now boys, now, boys and girls, first of all, you preheat your oven to 350. 350. That's the number of balls in the Wisconsin 100-ball state lottery. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Just kidding, Just Wisconsin. Just kidding, you Wisconsin cheese Now, in a bowl, in a bowl, <laughs> in a bowl like this, you take, your, uh, you take your flour. That's your flour. And you put in your flour sugar. Flour and uh, sugar, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. You mix it around. These are your dry ingredients. You put in your salt. Those. You put yeah. in your baking powder. We had now hoped these, for a moisture uh, recipe, but this has a lot of dry. Did someone say dry ingredients? Dry. Yeah. Well, I'll we did. tell you, dry. Dry. In South Dakota, it's so dry we have frogs three years old that haven't learned how to swim yet. <laughs> oh my side. Oh. Dry. You think that's dry? They've banned water skiing because it kicks up too much dust. Oh. 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 Dry. You think that's dry? It's worse in North. Dakota, my dad took a load of cows up there last week just to show them how well off they were. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, that's dry. Golly. That's Ooh. really dry. Oh, now, that, that may have hurt our timing. Now you put in... <laughs> now, now you put in your peanut butter. Peanut butter and, and put it in until, continue it's, to mix. until it's well mixed. Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you know when it's well mixed? When the nun drops a ruler and starts singing, I'm just a girl who can't say no. All right. <laughs> And then you add the peanut butter, we've done that. Oh, uh, you beat the egg in. Oh, beat, you beat the, the egg, egg in. There, and the yeah. milk, uh, Otherwise, we'll have more dry humor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you beat them separately or separately. together? Yeah. Together. Together. Why See, do you beat them separately? Uh, otherwise, the egg falls in love. Of course. Uh, that's a nice uh, color on you. Thank Very you. Very few people can wear that color. Well, thank you. You and Dijon the mustard boy. All right. <laughs> And then you put this in a little bit at a time. Uh, a little bit at a time. You dump it all in. No, no, ah, no, no whatever it is. Mix it all in there. there it it's goes. more of a keep stirring. It's You're more of a stirring. blending thing. Yes. Well, they broke off half this well, spoon. Listen. Well, listen. Well, here, use my spoon. Yeah. We'll go ahead and do this. All right. All right. You don't beat this. No, you do don't. Do not do beat. Do not beat this. That's right. That's what yeah. the judge made Bo Danny Bonaducci write I 500 times on the blackboard. <laughs> do not beat. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. How quickly they forget. Oh, All right. right, now, go ahead and uh, yes. uh, uh, coat that pan. Oh, coat that pan. Coat that pan. Coat that pan. Coat that, coat that pan. Ah, oh, oh, we've got to stir in those chips. Thank you, Ginger. The... I knew... Oh, your chocolate got in my peanut butter. Your peanut butter got in my chocolate. Oh, it's Ree's peanut butter. Sh... Mm. <laughs> Cups. Cups, that's what it is. cannot even read his own writing. I told you to, there. I I told you to let Margaret write this down. Dry, I'll tell you. No, 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 no. no. <laughs>
And then you put some flour on here uh, to, yes, after you course. coat your you uh, the, uh, coat your pants. Yes. And then you put your batter. Don't move in. the pan when I'm dumping this in there. Oh, you well, almost got a load of peanut you. butter. Thank you, Nurse Ratchet. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. And gee, that reminds me about our big uh, Betty's Better Batter contest that we oh, had yes. here on Did TNN. Oh yes. We had a winner. We had a winner, Mr. Clem Chowder of Orem, Utah, <laughs> who wins the pan of batter plus the weekend for six adults at the new Barbara Mandrell year-round Easter shop on Lower. Broad. All right. Here Thank he you so much. I am so happy. I have never won anything in my entire life. You are so funny. You are an Indian. All I right. am just so thrilled. We're going to I'm going to take this home and put it right up on my mantle next to my Hank Snow ego stretcher. All, All right. right. <laughs> And then you cool for an hour, and it starts to look like that. That's right. And yeah. then for your for your topping there, you put in your cream. You put in your cream along and, with your uh, and you uh, uh, stir that over low heat yeah. with your chocolate chips, your cream, and your oil, your buttery flavor oil. What is oil. low heat? Low heat. That's Billy Barty with a 357 oh. Magnum, and that gives you time <laughs> you put for just a your little bit of oil. A little bit of that buttery now, oil. Ahead. And while that, I'm doing this, time for the movie. Yeah, it's a movie about Superman, a child star, and a Gatling <laughs> brother who become upset and nauseated over the butler taking off after getting off or after getting out of a life sentence. Oh, I almost finished that movie for you. Didn't I? I'm gonna read this. It's, it's a movie. It's a movie entitled Reeves the Beave and Steve Grieve and Heave when Jeeve leaves after getting a reprieve. All right. All right. Well, that now, was almost too far to go, wasn't it, folks? And now that this is done, look at this. Oh, this oh, is going to drizzle nicely. This is going to drizzle nicely. This is nice going to drizzle. Just a little leftover sugar All there, right, too. All right, there we, we go. Here we go. We drizzle, drizzle this in. nicely. Oh, mm. that, oh, doesn't mm. that look appetizing? Mm. Mm. I guess you wouldn't have to use oh, it all, but... Yeah, with that I, moisture, that'll break apart quicker than the Soviet Union. All though. right, well, <laughs> we've uh, gone through this, Billy, and I think we should go ahead and recap and see just what we've done. All, all right, right well, ahead. first of all, we preheated the oven 350 degrees. Mixed flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. And we added peanut butter. Beat the egg and milk together. And we blend in the batter. And stir in six ounces of chocolate chip. We coat loaf pan with shortening and flour. And Gary, you can go ahead and move now. And we uh, turn uh, batter. You're off camera. <laughs> we turn batter into right, batter. I'll tell you. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> and in the saucepan over low heat, we combine the chocolate chips and <laughs> oh, oh that was hilarious. Oh, that was good. Did you get to enjoy that as well, I John? Loved it. I, it brings back such great memories. Yes. Great. Yes. Yes. Sure. And wow. uh, that was uh, that was a fun show to do because um, we all got to work together and it, it just that that free form, you know, all of well, the business that was going on in the dressing rooms while we were concocting the the recipe and the the jokes, you know, they're just uh, magical. The great thing, the great thing was, you see, we, uh, the, that particular show was four days, a four day shoot, uh, where there were, there were 13 shows. And so we would do three shows for three days and four shows on one day to get them all done. So they were back to back to back and, and uh, we would start working on one show as soon as the other one finished and, and we'd have to sit there in the dressing room, the four of us and, and uh, the lovely and talented Alan Reed, and uh, we would <laughs> we would actually go through the the recipe line by line, and everybody would throw in something funny, and then Alan would say not funny, and then we would uh, we would pick the things that uh, that were going to work, and all of a sudden, in, in about uh, an hour or so, we had a show. I had to fly out from South Dakota on three or four of them. I broke even on two. The pay was, <laughs> the pay was suspect. Yeah. Every time he comes to the to do the Opry now, he says, uh, you know, if if I could just get that fourth Opry appearance uh, during the week, I'd only lose five hundred dollars. If I don't <laughs> eat. <laughs> if he doesn't eat. <laughs> But you do get the Ginsu knife set. Oh. Mm. Four appearances, right? Mm. Yes. Yes. And that slices, dices, and yeah. S slicing thin, so, slicing the bread so thin that relatives will never come back. <laughs> well, now, um, I believe, I believe that even from the, the uh, Country Kitchen show, 
uh, Mr. Mule Deer leapfrogged right into the Hee Haw set uh, and did uh, the seasons of Hee Haw as well. I mm -hmm. did. It was amazing. I broke even on those, too. <laughs> <laughs> and those went into syndication, you know, and uh, they're still now, showing episodes of them. All I remember about that is the buffet and Erlene Mandrell. I remember nothing else. Mm. Do, do you remember this oldie? Uh, men around the campfire, men around the cows, men around the chuck wagon with chili and beans for chow, men with one thing in common, men with dirty hands and faces, with beans and cows and smelly men, thank God for wide open spaces. Wow, you remembered that. He wrote it. I know. I, I, I wrote it and I for, I'd forgotten about it. Yeah, I was right. I was a, I was a, but yeah, I did a cowboy poet on that, I think. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You were the uh, antithesis of Baxter Black. Cactus Jack, I think, was my, was my mom. <laughs> I also think I did, also did a Reverend, Reverend G.C. Mule Deer on that. I think in the beginning there was nothing. Yep. And one day God came down and still there was nothing. But by God, you could see it. <laughs> that's not right. I left some of it out in the middle. No, that's it. Still works. Still yeah, works. I, I can't believe it worked with half and the joke out. It worked. A little humor never hurts. Thank you. Yeah. Now, now I remember. Yes, we had all of our favorite guests on Country Kitchen, and uh, I do remember that there were some that were a little bit more difficult to write for. Uh, it seems like uh, uh, Dr. Ruth. The Dr. Ruth uh, episode was one of the funniest uh, recipe things that we had ever written. We had cracked each other up and we used more sexual innuendo in that, you know, because she was the, the sex doctor and uh, the good sex doctor. And, and then we get to, to, to doing the show during the rehearsal and she apparently went to Alan and said no <laughs> if they make jokes about the sex I will not do the show you know and uh, so we ended up with a kind of a lame second version I think version. we decided to do it straight <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Speak, speaking of doctors that reminds me of a guy that's a guy that's uh, getting he's getting uh, analyzed for a concussion the doctor says, do you know where you are? And the guy said, Mercy Hospital. The doctor said, what city and state? And he said, Des Moines, Iowa. The doctor said, what's my name? And the guy said, Dr. Bob Richardson. The doctor gets up, says, I'll be right back. The guy turned to the nurse and says, I hope he doesn't ask me any more questions. The nurse said, why? And the guy said, because that's all he had on his badge. <laughs> <laughs> little, hurt, little humor never hurt. <laughs> little hurt never humored. Either. I <laughs> goes uh, into the doctor's office. The doctor gives him uh, three minutes to live. He goes, three minutes? Isn't there anything you can do? He goes, well, I can make you an egg. <laughs> <laughs> banjo, banjo player in the doctor's office. The doctor walks in and says, you only have about six months to live. And the banjo player said, on what? <laughs> banjo joke. <laughs> Yeah, accordion, put in accordion, banjo, anything. Yeah. Zither. Zither. Xylophone. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they all, yeah, yeah. There's so, such a, a dearth of uh, good zither players. Yeah, exactly. Anymore, you know. John, it's been great to have you on as our guest, and thank you well, once again thank, for... Uh, thank you guys for including me. I oh, appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Always great to see you, and especially yeah. when you're with your lovely wife. Yes. 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 Well, yes, and she she is right next door. I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, don't disturb her, and because uh, uh, I know she's probably watching that new episode of Law and Order, uh, where Elliot comes back. <laughs> oh, is that on tonight? Yes. Yes. No. 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 Not till no, April first. Oh, not till April first. April. First. first, April 1st, because that's April Fool's Day, and that's Sarah's favorite holiday. Right. Well, yeah. she did marry me. Right. <laughs> Some guy once said it's lonely on the road. Nobody heard him. <laughs> 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 well, 
Well, well, thank you guys for including me. I appreciate it. Good to bet, John. John. Good to see you. All right, man. All right, right. let's have a big round of applause for John Pate, ladies and gentlemen, the great John Pate, live from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Actually, uh, (laughs) Ottawa. And now, uh, here's a a word from one of our new characters uh, that we have on the show. This is Amberjack. Oh. Is he on yet? No. No. Hey, everybody. It's me, Amberjack, your couch gnome. I've been trying to get off the couch today, but it's been hard. I've been eating a lot. Today I had cookies, and then I had some burgers, and then I had some milk, but it was coconut milk, so it's good for you. And if I could just get somebody to send me some kale, I'd eat that too. So, good luck to y'all. I'm going to try to get off the couch today, so wish me luck. (laughs) Looks familiar. Yeah. 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 Very familiar. Huge, though. He's huge. And not just on the internet. He's just huge. (laughs) And it's pandemic huge, you know. A lot of people have been putting on weight. Uh, during the pandemic, yes. um, I actually through uh, my wife, um, you know, Sharon, the living doll has uh, been intermittent fasting. And uh, so I've been doing that as well. And it's actually it's working. It, it has. Works. I noticed that on you. You've lost about 20 pounds. Yeah, but that it's taken me 60 yeah. years to build up this yeah. omentum and it's not going away. You know, doctors now say that women who carry a little extra weight around seem to live a whole lot longer than the guys that bring it up. <laughs> a little humor never hurts. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll all be going back to work soon. You can see Gary Muldeer this week at uh, Fantasy Springs Casino right. in Indio. Indio, California. Indio, California. Wow, a lot of folks here from India tonight. Well, there's uh, quite a few Californians in the audience. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, we, have, we have a wide uh, diversity in our audience. I will be in a casino, and I'll probably be gambling, and my, 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 I'm just praying that I break even because I can really use the money. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, brother. One thing that Gary and I share is a... Um, a propensity to play Kino. Four card Kino. Yeah, four card electric Kino, which uh, there's probably no worse no. game no worse odds, that no. you can be addicted no. to. However, four card Kino and room service are two of our favorite sports. <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what else do we have? Uh, we've got Sharon. the posts of the week. And oh, we got, have we have to do uh, now, Gary. You have a uh, you have a new documentary. Yes, it's being uh, it's, it's in the works. In the works, and we want to do a promo for that. This is uh, from your website, and you can go to your website is garymielder.com or my Facebook page, which I never go to because okay. I don't. I can't even remember the password, but I know it's on there. <laughs> I know it's there. I, yeah. But Via, this... Via Productions out of Memphis been following me around for over three and a half years, and I uh, got some great interviews, and I'm very fortunate. Some old friends have been, are on it, and uh, I'm pretty much looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, this is a clip from uh, Gary's new documentary, uh, documentary of his life and career. It's called Show Business is My Life, but I, I can't, can't prove it. it. So you may want to turn their sound up because it 
Okay, uh, if, you have, if you have volume control, go ahead and turn it up because our, our recording of this, it's no fault of Gary's, our recording of his clip is a little sound needy. Perfect. What do a typewriter, a guitar, and a chicken have in common? It says here is a bright young comedian. He's also crazy. Uh, anywhere we go, we'd love to take him. And he's so funny, he's all over the place. And he's very strange. And I love strange people. My next guest is a performer with his own totally unique approach to comedy. And we're delighted to have him back with us tonight. Please welcome Mr. Gary Mule. Thank you. You like country music? Good, here's one from Algeria. <laughs> began to tell you the condition I was in when I thought of this. Gary could look at the sky, the clouds, the rug, and find something weirdly funny. And now a big scene from the hit movie, Jaws. Well, I'm mayor of this town, and I say it was just a sand crab. He used one of the godfathers of prop comics. From the WOC BFD TV newsroom. <laughs> Let it out, doesn't get any better. Oh, yeah, that's the guy from Johnny Carson. I, I remember him. He has gravity-defying hair. Gary's hair frightens my hair. Mulder is going up and comics would gather in the back of the room to watch it. He was beloved wherever he went, and, and killed, always killed. Gary Muldeer was cut out of Annie Hall, up in smoke, and he was cut out of Steve Martin's The Jerk. So who's to say what might have happened if he wasn't cut out of the three most important comedy films of the 1970s? It is show business, and Gary was a genius at the show part. He was just bad at the business part. He would do blow and play Keno for, like, days. He did a great job of hiding it from people. It just kept escalating, which just broke my heart. I spent all my time just trying to look normal. If I have just a little bit of coke, I'll be okay. It's getting harder and harder all the time. Pain was so bad. My heart was racing so bad. Can't do this anymore. It was going down fast. And I headed up to be out here all these years. I can't believe I'm still doing this. People come up to me after a show and say, good luck in your career. I hope you make it. Considering what I've gone through and all the things that I've done, I'm blessed. I fell in. I once said it's lonely on the road. Nobody heard it. Wow. Right. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, start all over. <laughs> start yeah. it over. Let's show it again. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's gonna be exciting. I mean that's <laughs> that is uh Seven, eight, s s at least seven decades of yeah, approaching seven decades of stuff. Really, of stuff. Yeah. yeah, and and all brilliant. Well, not all of it. Not all of it. But, it, but, but a, it has its moments. Generous portion of it. Yes, uh, is really uh, like Gary has been saying. A little humor never hurts anything. Yeah. Yeah. So. Remember that when you're when you're going to the polls in 2024. It's better to have loved and lost than to have to get up for the 3 a.m. feeding. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And now, yes. Uh, posts of the week. Uh, we're going to look at the posts. Of the week. Oh, these are our favorite posts of the week from Facebook. Oh yeah. Da, 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 okay, the first <laughs> post great. First post of the <laughs> week is when the mushrooms wear off and you realize you're not a space smuggler traveling across the universe with a Wookiee. <laughs> And your we want to do a special shout out to our uh, good friend and frequent guest here on And the White Guy, Kevin Phillips. Kevin Phillips was recently honored 
by the South Dakota coaches uh, as their uh, as an outstanding citizen uh, coach and broadcaster, and he's now been put in the Hall of Fame uh, for South Dakota broadcasters, and we want to wish him all the best. He's uh, a great guy. He is a great guy, yeah. and he's a frequent friend of ours up at the uh, Deadwood Mountain Grand in That's Deadwood, right. yeah. uh, where he opens shows for uh, countless stars up there. He's got a great sense of humor, and he works clean. Yes. So if you want to book a good, clean show, book Kevin Phillips out there uh, from the Black Hills. We want to wish him all the best and congratulate him on this award. Clean is good. I never thought adult humor was very grown up. <laughs> never hurts to have a little comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our third and final post. Traffic has been rerouted because of a large crack in the road. <laughs> oh yeah. Da, 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 yes, they are <laughs> dumb, but <laughs> it works out great. We want to thank you for tuning in, everybody, and uh, be sure to watch the rebroadcast of uh, And the White Guy Show with our special guest. Let's hear it for Gary Mule Deer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. There they are. Yeah, they no, just... The ones from Indio left, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here, they're, they're oh, back. They, they just yeah. poked their head back in. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't forget, you can see him at uh, Fantasy Springs Casino uh, this week, which is uh, March... 24th, I believe. 24th. Uh -huh. uh, see him at... Uh, he's doing two shows there for... Uh, some of them are for high rollers, so they may not be able to get into those shows, but... Just go to the casino and see if you can spot him at a Kino machine. Exactly. And say that's, hi. That's the way I look at it. And we're going to, uh, the Indian and I will be at uh, a friend of ours, Bill Marks. We're going to be at his birthday party in Las Vegas on Wednesday night in his backyard. If you want to come to Bill Marks' house, uh, come uh, sneak over the fence in the back and uh, we'll take care of you there. And we've got margaritas and uh, free COVID shots. Uh, actually, anal swabs. Wow. For everybody. I uh, have a date coming up April 9th in uh, Lake Wales, Florida. Mm. At some place called the Bach Tower. I think it's something like that on April 9th mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. And I probably pronounced the name wrong, but give it a shot. Start with the alphabet. Yeah. I think it begins <laughs> with B. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Terry and I will be... Uh, will be <laughs> at the uh, um, Spirit Lake Casino uh, next month in uh, Grand Forks, not Grand Forks, uh, Devil's Lake, Devil's Lake yes. North Dakota. I know it well. And uh, we'll be there, can't remember the date, but uh, we'll be there next month, so get your tickets now. you got plenty of time. Yeah. All right. It's a great place. I had a seven out of eight there once. On Kino? Yep. Uh-huh. Well, that probably busted them. That's probably why they haven't been open. Well, I've been working. I've been playing for four days. Oh, yeah. I was in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you when we return with more. And, and the White Guy Show. I'm telling you, if white guys could get paid every time that they are on social media, this guy would get $12 a month for life. <laughs>